Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Um, today's beer is Badger's Tanglefoot. Um, unfortunately, it is in a, uh, a bottle. Sorry, a can. It is in a can. Um, I have looked for this in a bottle. Haven't been able to find it. But I really wanted to do a review on it. So I've just gone for the can. Okay, what does it say about the beer? Many years ago, the head brewer John Woodhouse invited his staff to sample his latest creation. On rising to go, he experienced a sudden loss of steering and so unwittingly fell upon the name of this legendary ale, Tanglefoot. Must have fell over. <laughs> Tanglefoot is a deceptively drinkable golden ale with hints of melon and pear. Interesting. Developed from fermentation, ideal for steak and ale pies. Totally agree with that. Now. What I found with Badger's beers in the past is they are very, they all, they all seem to be on the fruity side. They've all got more of a, a fruity sweet um, taste rather than a, a really hoppy bitter taste. They seem to, I, they make a lot of ciders as well. So um, what you're looking at is um, like a cider. They, they, they just specialize in like, like a fruity beer, cider, summer. It's a lovely day, so like a summery ale. So let's get it cracked open. Oh, it smells straight away beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Really, really fruity, absolutely ideal for the weather we're experiencing at the moment. Hence, we're up the back enjoying the sunshine. And why not enjoy the sunshine with a pint? of cracking cold ale. Lovely. There's a tango foot. It's 5% in 5% volume in alcohol and it's slightly less. They, they, they make these cans in 440 so it's less than a pint. It's probably 500 ml a pint so 60 ml short of a pint of beer there. But to see is light amber and copper as you can see, the smell, fruity, scented hop cereal. It's very fruity, very fruity, and slightly hoppy, so I'd go with that. The taste is a crisp, sweet, spicy overtunes. Let's give that a go. Mm. Oh. Perfect. That's a perfect description for this. It's crisp, it's sweet, slightly spicy. That's the tangle foot. It is so refreshing. It is such a lovely refreshing point. Absolutely guaranteed. If you can get hold of this, try it. Well worth a try. That's what we're looking to do on the Real Ale Guide. We're looking to find a suitable beer for whatever drink you're into. If you're into a fruity beer, a hobby beer, a dark ale, a stout, um, more of a bitter, have a look at the Real Ale Guide. We've got quite a few reviews now on beer. Watch a couple, find out what you like and give it a shot. That's the whole idea about this. Mm. It won a Beer Insider Bronze Award in 2000. A bronze. I don't know what came silver and gold, but it must have been absolutely fantastic to beat off this. This is really good. Now, Badger Ales come from Blandford St. Mary in Dorset in England um, they've got all sorts of merchandise to order to buy if you want to you've got your glasses your pint tankards your t-shirts I even believe they do golfing shirts and stuff as well so have a look at the website it's www.badgerales.co.uk if you want to order online 
there's a website or if you prefer to do it the old-fashioned way and telephone them up and order something maybe get it sent to you pardon me it's British telephone number 01258452141 here we go that's the note reading out the way most definitely they described this as if you're gonna have a suitable food for this it would be a steak and ale, steak and ale pie or something of that description should I say peppered steaks I don't know garlic sausages get some food going maybe on the barbecue I talk a lot about the barbecue I do enjoy drinking outside I gotta be honest I do enjoy my food I enjoy my meat get some stuff on a barbecue crack open a few of these tango huts you're gonna have a whale of a time you're gonna have a whale of a time <coughs> we've got quite a few beers badger um, I've done a review of England's gold that's there. They do Blanford Fly, Golden Glory, The Thirsty Ferret, which I've reviewed. Uh, they do a number of ales. They do ciders, um, they do lagers. But me personally, I'm not a big fan of cider. Not a big fan at all. Um, not really a big fan of lager either. We did the Ostrava last week and one my cup of tea. This is this is right up my street. This is a, a good old fashioned ale that's been given a lot of time into it. It's crafted and it's well worth a shot. You've got the head staying there nicely. A little bit of carbonation going. All in all, fantastic beer. Okay, I think that's it for this week, but um, thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. Um, I'm doing re reviews every week now. Um, have a look at the reviews in the past I've done. See what beer you fancy. Give it a go. Shouldn't be disappointed. If you are, or if you've got any comments, email me at realaleguide at googlemail.com or realaleguide at gmail.com, whatever you fancy. Um, I'm on Twitter. It's Real Ale Today. Twitter in. Um, but other than that, keep tuned in to the Real Ale Guide. Thanks for watching. Cheers now.